So welcome away to another review of Thread. Today we'll be talking about Ducey by David Scalanti, Alan Schoolmaker, which is the exploits, advice, and ideas of the renowned strategist. Now this renowned strategist is of course David Skalansky. He is a professional poker player, but he has done several things. He has invented casino games. He was even the consultant for many years for Bob Stupak, which built the stratosphere in Las Vegas. David Skalansky is one of those individuals which you kind of see in movies. You know, he's very much a genius and he you know and he attributes this of course to his family which are you know his in fact his brother is a ucla berkeley professor so you know and and on top of that you know his father was a genius his mother was a near genius and you know he attributes that to his genes that's something that you can't change he himself did not complete college because he left it and one would argue made a much more better profit of it by doing the things that he did through poker, blackjack and all of that. He, in fact, he does cut counting and all that. In all his years and everything, everybody, and I used to play poker a lot. And so David Skalansky, I also respect him very much and in his thought processes. And this whole book came about from a forum, a poker forum called 2 plus 2 by which he also posts in, in there not only about poker but about other things such as abortion and stuff like that. You know, and so when he would discuss things, he would mostly say, do you see why? You know, he would rather that the person he's talking to or the forum post he's, he's referring to, the person reading it is thinking. And so someone reduced that to do D-U-C-Y, do you see? Which is how this whole book came out, the whole idea came about, is this whole thought process, how he came to solve problems. And that's the important thing about this book. This book is not self-help book in, in a way that, you know, like believe in yourself and stuff like that. It is that, but for the most part, it's not by some spiritual manner. This book is totally, everything is about how you get to solve a problem, not concentrate on the problem. And you do that through logic, mathematics, and practicality. The most important thing is to get to the result. The result is the most important thing. And sometimes you have to give something to the opposition to achieve something. If that's the case, you should do it because of expected value and more importantly, the goal. You get the goal. The more important thing is to get to the goal rather than never getting there because you won't give up on one small point of your argument. So that's what the book is about. Today we go through the same process. We go through the cons, the pros, and of course, a conclusion. So let's get to the cons. Now the cons, the first problem is, you know, Skolansky himself said that, you know, this book is more to get you thinking and everything like that. But a lot of the evidence he gives as reference and all that does come from places like Wikipedia and all that, which even my own professor, if I, I'll put down a talk I did about evidence, if there's a link below if you want to see that. Wikipedia does have great information we all can agree on for the most part but the thing is that you know you can never really refer to wikipedia as evidence in a show of sense because no one's checking who's posting that up so in a way the evidence that he gives um in terms of the research and everything when he puts a wikipedia article and all that does get me a bit of an eyebrow raised but then again i totally because the point for him is not like he says many times, it's not about that research. The point is about the discussion. All right. So, and many times, and the best part is that he would state that, you know, I'm not very well read on example, the um, porn store business or example about this certain kind of surgery, but here's a re an article of that. So, I mean, coming into it, you must understand, don't get put off by the Wikipedia stuff. The, even in fact, you tr if you're not sure, disregard it, but look at how he solves the problem, which is, uh, the important point, but like I said, there is that research issue where you look at his research and it's sometimes a Wikipedia article which can be a, again, a bit of a raise of eyebrow. Call me snobby if you will, but it's one of those things. The other part is he's very mathematical in mind, I am not. So there's a lot of psychology in the book and there's sections on math and everything. And I must admit that there are some parts which are much more interesting to each person. You know, like if you're a mathy person, you love the math part. If you're a more psychological person, you like the psychological part. You know, I did re finish everything, but sometimes, like I said, when it came to the math part, I got a bit lost. All right, and because you try to understand the it's simple math in a way that you know equations and all that, but if you don't have that background, sometimes you can get a bit stuck, especially if you're really trying to learn. Just take note that there will be two parts which might be more interesting for one person or the other. And the last one uh, is basically that 
it, this book might offend because he talks about several things such as abortion, kidnapping, about how certain robbers should be treated with more lenient punishments due to the, depending on the situation to cause an effect where the victims more than likely would not get hurt in the future if a certain law was passed so on and so forth or rather you know one of the ones that he put down is like handicapped spaces maybe they should give out an exorbitant sum that some the rich people can use it but use that money for example to buy and give to handicapped societies so some parts of this uh, will offend people but the thing is like he said if you come into this and before you read his you know his ways of solving the problem or if you don't even want to consider his idea if it opposes yours then this book's not going to help you like again if you disagree that's fair but at least the idea is to did he get through that process in a logical way so that's another thing you should take note so with that let's go into the many pros of this book so the first pro of the book is this is the best self-help book in i've ever read i mean i've not read that many but this book truly emphasizes i think the important point which is don't register on the problem most importantly is to solve the problem you know and the best way to do that is to get out all the rhetoric and everything and just use logic what works and gets the result is the most important thing and on top of that this is one of those books where literally just through reading you know several of the stories and you know each of these as you can see um stories that he gives and the best part is they are stories which are actually the best ways to teach in my view because they give you something interesting to listen to is they come in only a few pages most of the time so each story tells you a lesson and through looking at these lessons and just through the simple logic of how to think of be it, be it mathematical with a bit of psychology and everything it almost has a literal instant effect it is like Sun Tzu's art of war you know it's Every time you look at one of his lessons, it, it literally is something as much as like Sun Tzu, which is, it's not something you never thought about. It's just that you needed someone to remind you to do it, you know, such as the one of the stories, which pretty simply, he was working with Bob's Tupac, and there was this idea he wanted to promote his casino where there would be three, there would be four people, all right, and they would have a jackpot kind of competition, and the first place winner would win a million dollars. Second place winner will win fifty thousand. Third place winner will win twenty thousand, and the last place winner will win ten thousand. Now, instead, what David Skalansky told Bob Stupak, why not you just offer everybody, all right, sixty thousand, and I bet you they'll take it. And here's the strange part. You know, when it was offered, all of them took it, even though mathematically there was a literal four to one chance to winning a million dollars and there is instead they took the one to one chance of winning sixty thousand and now considering minus the fact that if they needed the money to pay off a debt or whatever it mathematically there's no way you should not, not take the four to one chance of a million dollars because it's the exponential earnings you could get out of it and again once you read these stories and he explains it you kind of think to yourself, why didn't I think of that? And this is how many times I read this book that I always come back to that idea, like, why didn't I think of that? In fact, he even teaches you to think out of the box by giving you the puzzle that created the line, think out of the box, which I won't spoil. You get your book yourself and you, you go find that out. And the thing is, you know, that he even has one um, really, really cool story, which is literally when he was writing this book before it was finished, he had a home invasion, which is someone actually broke into his gated community and robbed him at gunpoint. And how he actually showed that, you know, a lot of people were like when he talked about when kidnappers, certain kidnappers who don't hurt the victim should get a lighter sentence. People always saying, oh, because you didn't have these situations happen to you, easy to say. Well, when it happened to him, he literally also kept to his, you know, logic in that when, when the policeman said that the person who robbed him would get 50 years he said that there would be too much because they didn't hurt him other than tapping on the head one time so you know consistency practicality logic and most importantly get to solve the problem this book is excellent in conclusion there is i will never throw away this book this book is a true gem of just logic and how to solve problems I truly recommend it. It is a wonderful thing. So thank you very much. Till next word.